Uh, hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about what high school is really like. This is mainly for upcoming freshmen, middle schoolers, or people who just want to know what high school is like. Uh, freshman year for me is what I would call... Pointless. Because I did not learn a dang thing the whole year. The only thing I learned was that you cannot trust anyone. That's about it. I don't even consider it school. It's just a big drama fest. But for some, yes, it's very fun. Mainly for the guys. Guys have a good time in high school. I'm sure of it because they don't have to do as much drama as us ladies do. But no, high school is not that bad. Just keep watching the video and you'll understand where I'm coming from. Number one. High school is not scary, it's just a different environment. There's so many different cliques. There's the fake people, the hoes, the thoughts, the annoying people. The black people, the white people, the basic people, the irritating people. But in high school, things started getting more serious. Number two, there will be drugs involved. Why did I say it like that? I made it seem like it was serious. Well, to me, it's serious. But for about 90% of this world, it's really not serious. And by drugs, I mean marijuana. I'm not even just gonna sit there and dog people who smoke weed. Marijuana, for all we know, might not even really be bad for you. So I'm not even just gonna sit there and be like, don't do drugs, it's bad for you. But I highly recommend girls don't, ladies don't do it. If you want people to respect you, you need to learn how to respect yourself. So if you carry yourself right, you'll have people who will treat you right too. So just be careful what you do. But yes, there will be a bunch of drugs. There will be people encouraging you to do it. Number three, being popular is actually what you don't want. It's just because everyone thinks they know every little thing about you. Everyone thinks they know your story. Everyone thinks that they know who you are. Nobody knows me. People probably think I'm just some cocky, light-skinned girl who is a wannabe model who thinks she can sing. Really, I am a normal human being, and I'm here for the same reason all you people are. You know, can't explain it. All I know is you shouldn't really judge people if you don't really know their story. I have people I don't even know that I never met saying she's ugly in person or she wears too much makeup or she's cocky. Who are you exactly? Because I don't know you. You're irrelevant. I'm, I'm so sorry. If you haven't met someone before, you judge them, you, you're classified as a hater to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna label you as a hater. You're a hater. So no, being popular is something that you don't really want. Everyone just thinks that they know you. Nobody knows me. But, I mean, it is what it is. You can't really you can't really do anything about what people say about you. And I really do feel bad for the next upcoming freshman. Because I did hear that everyone's going to be hating, like, the upcoming freshman. I personally don't hate someone because of their age or because of their class or because of the fact that they're a freshman. Because I, I was a freshman, like, about a couple months ago. So I'm not really going to do that. That's kind of childish and immature. Like, we all have to be a freshman one time in our life. So I'm not even just going to hate someone because of what grade they're in. You know, that's just childish. And if you're one of those people, I honestly hope you get ran over. I didn't. I don't hope you get ran over, but I'm just saying. I don't really think that's right. I mean, yeah, it might be fun because people talk about you all the time. You're getting worshipped. You're not getting worshipped. You're getting hated. Everyone hates you. Listen to what that one girl said. What did she say? I mean, girl, she said everyone hates you. Not. See? That is with you plastics you think that everybody is in love with you when actually everybody hates you yeah yeah that yeah she, she was telling the truth okay number four some of you guys need to realize that freshman year counts focus on your grades do your work stay out of drama worry about yourself but yeah i've been pushed to the point where i don't really associate with a lot of people I only mess with like a few people but back to what i was saying yeah freshman year counts you can't just really fail it you know but you're not gonna make it to college if you waste your whole high school life being dumb. You need to make good decisions too. Yes, bad decisions make good memories. I understand that. I've made a couple bad decisions before. It's quite a few that's actually hilarious that I should say, but I'm not because I'll make myself look bad. You kind of need to add a little bit of good in the bad because a bunch of bad just equals bad, you know, positive. Number six, everyone you know will change and you didn't know that. The closest friend you had before might end up becoming a serial killer later. Like, I remember in middle school we used to sit there and talk about the next upcoming episode of Dora the Explorer or Justin Bieber how Hannah Montana shouldn't be canceled and come back we were so innocent and cute and now half the people I used to know I are they're on drugs and just caught up in a bunch of drama that's so pointless it was pointless pointless freshman year was pointless because they made it pointless before and at the end of the day your school year is what you make of it if you want a good year you make it good but you have to make good decisions to have a good year otherwise you're just gonna end up messing yourself up but yes everyone does change the best friend you have right now might just end up being like Miley Cyrus. Number seven, 
please watch what you say to others please watch what you say because if you say the wrong thing to someone that's older than you and by others I mean sophomores and above I mean I'm not saying I had an experience where someone put me in my place because I never really said anything to someone that caused them to cuss me out or put me in my place because I stay in my place I've seen some pretty bad fights and some pretty bad things with other people who kept running their mouth there were so many freshmen that thought they were the I'm not even going to say the S word because my mom's going to watch this video after I edit it, so sorry mom. Number eight, the last one I have for you guys, is fights. My first fight was in the seventh grade and it was actually quite hilarious. What was I saying? Oh yeah, my first fight, seventh grade. It was Wacky Wednesday and I had on knee high socks and I had on a skirt and my hair was about jacked up. I don't remember everything that I was wearing but I looked crazy. I had on high heels and it was a bunch of he said, she said stuff and... We started going at it and her friends gradually started to jump in on me. Thought They thought they were beating me up when really I was scoring higher than all of them. Oops. If you know what I mean. But anyways, yes, middle school fights and high school fights are two very different things. I mean, a fight is a fight. I'm not saying the fights are different, but I'm saying the reasons why are different. Well, people fight over boys, uh, crap talking, and boys, and fake people, and boys, and drugs maybe. In middle school, we used to fight over some petty stuff too. We fight over candy, lollipops, and who gets to go out for recess next? Kicked out of sports. You can get kicked off the basketball team or the cheer team or whatever. You shouldn't really fight because at the end of the day, they're all petty. Anyways, that's the only advice I could really give you guys. Just watch what you say, make great decisions, and I'm sure your school year will be fine. Because high school isn't really a game. Actually, actually it is a game. It is a game. You just need to know how to play it.